Hey, it's Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Swift UI Progress View component. Now, this is very common, very easy to use, and super useful. You'll see this whenever something is loading. I'm going to erase this from my default project, and I am simply going to add the Progress View component like that. And on the right hand side in the canvas preview, you're going to see the spinner. Now by default, that's an infinite spinner. And that's useful because you don't know when, let's say you're loading some data over the network, when that data will actually come in. But if you do want to show some sort of progress, you can add the value parameter. So by default, the value parameter is from zero to one. So if you want to show something that's halfway through the progress, you would put 0 0.5. Now this is even customizable because there's a total uh, parameter as well for you to say, well, what's the total amount of progress for completion? So we'll say 100 units. And if we do value of, let's say 33, then that would be a third of the way done. So let's say you're downloading something. This would be the total file size and you would be updating this in the state property or something like that that would show progress as that download is happening. But most often I find myself just using this infinite perpetual progress spinner for loading images asynchronously, for loading data feeds and things like that. So again, very useful component, very easy to use. I hope that was helpful for you. I'll see you in the next video.